Does reactive hypoglycemia increase my risk for diabetes? The answer is yes. People don't realize that reactive hypoglycemia is actually a pre-diabetic condition. If you think about what diabetes is, diabetes is a disease not of glucose but of insulin and excessive insulin production. In the early stages of pre-diabetes or pre-high glucose levels, what happens is the pancreas is producing excessive amounts of insulin. These excessive amounts of insulin often will actually help keep that blood glucose level controlled. Over time, as diabetes progresses, that production by the pancreas is no longer able to keep up with the glucose levels and glucose levels start exceeding normal. What happens in reactive hypoglycemia is very similar, is that after a glucose challenge, what happens is that excessive amounts of insulin, again, the same in prediabetes or diabetes, occurs, and that causes the blood sugar within two to four hours to drop to low levels. Over time, if you keep on challenging the pancreas, that insulin production will actually drop off and glucose levels will start to rise, so there will no longer be low blood sugar levels after eating, but actually high blood sugar levels after eating.